I can't flip it around. That's bullshit. How do I flip the camera around, damn it? Hmm. Oh well. I know I've been kind of promising this video for quite some time. Not really promising it, but I told you a while ago when I first moved in that I would do it. And then time just got the best of me. It happens. So here I am in my house on my birthday. Yes, today is my birthday. I'm sure you didn't know that. It's okay. I barely knew it. I'm kidding. I knew it. Anyways, finally got the house in somewhat order of what I wanted, and it's taken me this long to do so. So, uh, as I still have no idea how to flip the camera back and forth from the front to the back camera in one go, we're just going to be moving the camera back and forth, because I don't want to keep stopping and starting the stupid video. So, as you can see, we're here at the front door. And there's the big old TV there. Awesomeness. Uh, guitars and stuff and uh, incense and, and a couch and... Yeah, there's Batman. Uh, uh, peanuts, uh, blanket as a curtain there, and dog bed under there. Xander likes to run under there and sleep for whatever reason. I think he likes small spaces. Um, yeah, so there's my, uh, table. Don't know why it took me so long. I still don't know where I'm going to place all that stuff. And uh, guess what? I did Uber one night, and somebody left this beauty in my car. Tried to give it back to them, but they didn't respond. So I still have that. I take a peek outside. There's my backyard. Fairly clean from dog shit. Uh, oh, we got a we got a hen or a chicken or a turkey or the rooster or something. Uh, yeah, so that's my kitchen. Got dishes in the sink and my succulents soaking up the ever good sun. Look, there's my backyard again. Awesomeness, right? And the microwave on the floor because I have nowhere else to put it. And the back door. And look, we come back out this way. And here's the living room again, with a big old curtain thing. And we come back in here, and what do we find? Oh my god, we find two wild beasts. Okay, I'm kidding, you're not wild beasts. But you may be beast of burden, yes? I don't, I don't know. All that shit's just junk, and the beauty, where all the magic happens, that it hasn't happened for a while. I, I I don't even know how long I haven't streamed for even. Uh, well, and we come in here and it's the bathroom. Hi, I'm right here. I know. 
not much of a sight. Oh, it glows. Must be Batman again. Oh well. And here's the bedroom. Bed's not made. Somebody yell at me and slap me. And there's a closet there. And there's the pup's room. Got a bed for them, or really a couch, but they use it as their bed, as they don't know how to sit on a couch. But, yeah, uh, there's another closet. Oh, look, we can look outside on the backyard again. And they did something with my gas. They ripped it up from there. All the way up to where that cone thing is there. And I showed up one day off of doing Uber. And they were just there. They were digging away. Why they were doing it? Yep, that beats me. Um... Yeah, I came home one day and they were just balls deep in my backyard there, digging away and doing whatever it is the hell they're doing. So, I have no gas right now. So, I can't even cook on my stove. But, maintenance dude should be here relatively soon, or sometime today. Uh, and I'm probably going to add some more to this video, as I think I might be doing something later today. I, I don't even know. I, I quit, uh, planning five minutes ahead quite a while ago, probably thanks to this, or... Thanks to that, now I'm in the situation I am. But that doesn't... That, you don't need to worry yourself with that anyways. Oh, wow. Look what we got here. We got some... Uh, we got some Zeus slobber. Mixed with Zeus hair. Affixed to the wall. That's a lovely sight. That's what you get for owning a Great Dane. You don't realize you got hair-coated slobber on your walls until you actually look at them. And knowing me, I don't look at my walls that often and know that I have. You don't care about that. Okay, well... I think that's about it for now. Uh, I will get back with you soon, I hope. Put what I got now on the computer, see if I can at least, and I'll talk to you soon. Oh shit, you can't see me at all. Like Maybe just a little bit here. Let's see here. Oh, hello, there we are. All right. Well, apologize about my hair. It's just not wanting to cooperate with me right now. Oh well, fuck it. Uh, anyways, just uh, leaving my mom's right now on uh, my uh, birthday thing here. Uh, decided to stop by the uh, grocery store real quick, see if I can't pick up something sweet or something. I mean, I, I got a whole thing of uh, cheesecake and a uh, check from my dad uh, that I picked up at my mom's, but I don't, I don't know. Something is just pulling me to this 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 fries this grocery store right now so i'm gonna jump on in here see if i can't find anything to 
if I can't find something that is pulling me here right now. So, I don't know. Let's go and see. Okay, so when I was out there, I didn't realize what I was coming here for, but I guess it's ice cream. What kind? I don't know. Well, maybe one of these party ones, like a cookies and cream, or maybe just vanilla. I'm not sure. Bluebell is too expensive. I'll just go with uh, vanilla, I suppose. Okay, so I came here for, I don't know what, but I got ice cream. I decided to come here, as I was checking out, decided to come and check out the dog's aisle stuff. And for toys, or chewables, or really anything, they don't have much. So... Um... Uh, those are expensive. Twelve, almost thirteen bucks for those. Uh, I don't get enough in those ones. Oh, those ones. Left in the wrong hand there. Um, there we go. That's what we'll get them. Right here. We'll get two of these. One for each of them. That's well, like seven bucks. About eight bucks. And these will probably last longer than the others. I have just bones lying around already. Not like I need any more, but they're my dogs. I love them. Well, I think that's about it. I'll make a little bit more of a round and see what else I can find that I might need. Okay, uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure how well this is gonna turn out here, but I figured, what the hell. Uh, yeah, other than <clears throat> maybe picking up some ice cream and some bones for the dogs, I don't know why I had such a drive to come over to Fry's, the grocery store. Uh, so I walked around the store for a while, trying to figure out, oh, that's bad. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Be mad at me, fucker. You're just taking your sweet ass time. So, like I, was saying, like I was saying, I don't know what uh, my drive for going to the grocery store right now on my way home was for. Got enough sweets at home, but I picked up some dog bones for the pups, so they can have those and everything will be just fine. Um, yeah, I'm still, I'm still boggled on what uh, drove me to the grocery store. Because there wasn't anything really I needed. I have all the sweets I need at home. You know, I have some cookies and M&Ms that I can eat. And then I got the... The uh, cheesecake. You know, now from Mom's. So I've... I've definitely rolling around in sweets right now it's definitely something else is on my mind and I just can't pinpoint what the hell is on my mind what the hell is bothering me so much that I don't, I don't know it feels quite awkward to say the least 
normally I can say, oh, this is what's bothering me, or that's what's bothering me. You know, but now I'm like, I don't know what's bothering me. I, I couldn't tell you why I feel, I, I, I wouldn't really say paranoid or annoyed, probably a little bit anxious for whatever reason and I couldn't tell you why and I know you're not going to be able to see me here but at least you'll be able to hear what I'm saying hopefully that's that's the uh, idea at least hopefully the engine isn't too loud um, yeah there's definitely trying to figure out what is on my mind and you know I didn't mean to take this long off of streaming and I didn't realize it was going to take this long for me to figure out what is bothering me so much <clears throat> and I mean before I took this leave I was having you know I was doing good at work I was you know and then I decided to take a leave and then, just after I took my leave from streaming, I unfortunately lost my day job. So that could be the poss that could be the thing that's bothering me is that I lost my day job. But really, why am I stressing so much about that? You know, if it, it was just it was just the time, you know. It, I liked, I kind of liked working, I can't say 100% that I liked working there. You know, I liked doing what I was doing, it's, it's going to be that way throughout the rest of time, where you may like what you're doing, but you may, necess may not necessarily like the people you're working with. Now, most of the people I was working with I had no issue with. There were a select few people that I had issue with. Now I'm not gonna go too much detail because it just, you know, really need to know that and I won't bore you with it. But I think that's where people, not really people, but just for myself really, that's where I tend to uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say there. Uh, I try and find a place where I like the job I'm doing and I enjoy working with the people that I'm working with. See here, we're really not going to have much for video, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find a place where I like what I'm doing and I like the people I'm working with. However, you're not going to get that out of a job, you know, unless you're working a minimum pay job and you're liking the people you work with, you may end up liking the job just because you like the people you work with. Now, I haven't even had a job like that where I like the job because of the people I work with. All the jobs that I've had I've either liked one or the other, the job or the people, and I don't think I'm going to find that one job that I feel like I can fit in to where I like both the job and the, per the people I'm working with and feel content in myself to know that I'm actually doing something. See, now it, it comes full circle back around to why the hell am I in this rut? What the fuck is wrong with me? You know, I, I tend to try and not ask myself what the fuck is wrong with me. Just because I've heard that throughout my life, throughout so many different people and viewpoints, And, you know, it, it hurt 
to hear these other people ask me what the hell's wrong with me, what the fuck is my problem. And I couldn't tell them. So what makes myself feel any different thinking, hey, you know, what the fuck is your problem? It doesn't work like that. It really doesn't, never has, and it never will. You cannot just go, what the fuck is your problem, and snap out of whatever shithole you're in. If you can, I'd like to know how you do it, because that would help. Because me, I can't just go, bam, oh, yeah, let me just snap out of this funk that I've been in for the last month, and, you know, be happy. It doesn't work that way with me. Never has. That's why I have dogs. Because when I'm with my dogs, I can just be with my dogs. You know, I it doesn't matter what I'm doing, where I'm at. And most of the time I'm at home with my dogs. Because it just... For me, it feels like it would be more enjoyable with somebody else on a hike or somebody else to go camping or somebody else to go to the dog park or, I mean, I know there's other people at the dog park, but other people who I don't know kind of stress me out. So, oh my God, this phone needs to focus. And I lost my train of thought. Oh, yes. So, meeting people in person irritates me. Because I get easily irritated by others. So, there's another part of working in a place where I like the people I'm working with. Because, yeah. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Try living in here. I don't make sense to myself sometimes. So, I mean, I've rambled on here for like good 10 minutes and I hope that suffices. I hope I can, hope it's not too long for you guys. Cause I've got another like five, 10 minutes on something else that you saw before. So, well, anyways, I don't want to keep you too long. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, uh, today was my birthday. Uh, I turned 29 today and, you know, it just feels like another day to me now. I mean, it started to feel like another day when I turned like 18, 19, 20, somewhere in there, you know, I d it didn't even matter when I turned 21. You know, I didn't have any friends or anything. That's something for another time. Um, but yeah, today was my birthday. Um, thank you all for the love that I have received and the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Um, I'm hoping to get out of this funk as soon as I can and get back to streaming as soon as possible. Ugh, because I miss it so much. Anyways, um... I love you all. Stick around for when the dogs open up their treats. Because that's going to be soon. Um, I hope you guys like the video. And if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns or anything you want, leave it down in the comments somewhere there. Um, I'm trying my best to get more videos on the YouTube channel, but... With all of that's happening in my life right now, it's just, it's stressing me out, like I said earlier. Anyways, now I'm getting on 12 minutes. Fuck. God damn. Um, let me know if you want me to just ramble on, like, sometime. I'll do it. Probably not. But let me know anyways. Um, yeah. So until next time, keep your head up. Keep breathing, stay strong, and you'll see me in the next video. Alright, uni 
fam, I'm back. Just a quick bonus clip for you. I've got the uh, bones here. They are unwrapped. I'm gonna go and get the dogs from outside real quick and I'll be right back. Can you sit? Wait. All right, take it. Here, take it. Go on. Take it. Right here, Zeus. Right here. What is that? You gonna take it? It's yours. It's right here. That one's yours. That one's yours. Hey, you want some help? Take it. You got it? There you go. Yeah, this one's yours. Take this one. Go for the middle. There you go. Right there. I want a party like